Hi everyone, my name is Aditya and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to take the unboxing and review of the OnePlus Nord, which is the latest smartphone from OnePlus. So before starting the unboxing, I would like to give the key highlights of the smartphone. So this smartphone is powered by Snapdragon 765G. It's a 5G processor and it, this, this smartphone offers a 48 megapixel quad camera. It has a 90 Hz HDR 10 plus display and it has Oxygen OS. So now let's start with the unboxing of the OnePlus Nord. So inside the package, we get the Nord. Let's keep this aside. And over here you get some welcome letter and some quick start guides and a clear case for the OnePlus Nord. So let's see what's inside this package. So you get a SIM ejector tool, some OnePlus stickers, quick start guide and the safety information and a red cable card from OnePlus. This is all you get inside. And you also get this 30 watt warp charger along with this cable. And OnePlus claims that this charger could charge the OnePlus Nord from 0 to 70% in under 30 minutes. Now let's check out the smartphone. So here you have the OnePlus Nord and it absolutely feels premium in the hand. Now let's talk about the build quality of the OnePlus Nord. The sides are made up of plastic and your Gorilla Glass 5 on the back as well as on the front side and your metallic buttons and it feels with really good and premium in the other hand. This is the 12GB RAM 256 GB storage variant of the OnePlus Nord and this costs 30,000 rupees. You can also get the 6GB RAM 64GB storage variant for around 26,000 rupees and the 8GB RAM 128GB storage variant for around 28,000 rupees. Now let's talk about the design and display of the OnePlus Nord. The display of the Nord looks attractive. It is full HD HDR10 Plus display and the refresh rate is 90Hz which makes it smooth and snappy. And this is the HDR10 Plus display quality on the OnePlus Nord. And as you can see, the display of this smartphone is really amazing. The display of the OnePlus Nord is flat rather than more premium curve sides on Android phones such as the OnePlus 8. But it causes accidental pressure, so I prefer this flat display. The panel is rated for maximum brightness of 1000 nits with HDI enabled, so it would be better in outside conditions in direct sunlight. So the smartphone also has an in-display fingerprint scanner and it works quite fast. So now I am going to play Asphalt 9 on the OnePlus Nord and let's check out the gaming performance with the Snapdragon 765G chipset. Check the settings. So it's set to high quality.
as you saw the gaming performance there was no lag or any issue the oneplus nord it handled it very well but it started heating a little bit after playing for long hours i'm testing out the game i've been playing uh, the asphalt 9 on this device for a little, quite long time to check out if there is any heating issues yes there's slight heating heating issue in this smartphone but it's okay the game is playable and it does not heat your hands so it's fine it's just a slight heating issue now let's talk about the cameras on the oneplus nord so you have a 48 megapixel quad camera so you have the 48 megapixel primary camera 8 megapixel ultra wide 5 megapixel depth sensor and 2 megapixel macro camera on the oneplus nord and on the front you have two cameras a 32 megapixel camera on the front it's and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and as you know that's a whole lot of cameras and however the 2 megapixel cam macro camera is not actually useful as it's very low clarity and the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera is sometimes soft these are some of the videos and photos taken with the oneplus nord As you can see, the optical image stabilization is doing a good job to keep the video stable and reduce shake. Sometimes the camera does go out of focus in low light. talk about bat battery and charging the oneplus nord is a 4115 mAh battery and if you set the refresh rate to up to 90 hertz then it would consume more battery but it's not a big deal for me as the oneplus nord comes with 30 watt fast charger so this would charge the nord up to full charge in one hour and now let's talk about the software on the oneplus nord so i'm very happy to see the oxygen os 10.5 on the nord it's an excellent take on the Android 10. It's attractive to look and easy to navigate and it has no bloatware or ads or anything like that. It comes pre-installed with only some apps. And the animated wallpaper and the customization you can do on this is really awesome. So I really like the Oxygen OS of OnePlus. And it's almost similar to the stock Android experience. Well, this smartphone is a good performer if you are a heavy gamer then i wouldn't suggest you this smartphone you should go for the 800 series chipset of the snapdragon 765g is also a good processor but it's not up to the 800 series chipset for 30,000 rupees the oneplus nord is an excellent performer if you're not into heavy gaming then i would rec definitely recommend the nord it's a really good smartphone under the 30,000 rupees category it has a good camera, decent performance, excellent display and a good battery life. But it's a little disappointing that there's no expandable storage or headphone jack on this smartphone.
So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel if you haven't and don't forget to press that bell icon. If you have any doubts about this smartphone please ask me in the comments below.